Hey DIYers, Jarrett with Alarm Grid here. Today we're going to be discussing what the symbol next to your zone means on your Qualsys IQ Panel 2 Plus. Uh, now the symbol next to the zone is basically telling or showing you the current status of that specific sensor or zone. Um, now there are different uh, type of statuses that you can get uh, for the different zones and that includes open, closed, uh, active, idle, unresponsive, and tampered. Um, now, you can always go up to your panel and um, always check the current status of your different sensors. You can sort between the two. Um, there's an option for active and there's an option for all to be able to see um, all the sensors. And then active is obviously so that you can see which sensors are currently active. Um, now, uh, the different zone statuses, uh, it just basically tells you what's going on with the different sensors and everything. Uh, we're going to jump into that. Uh, so basically, uh, open the open status is if you had like a door sensor or a window sensor and uh, you were to open that sensor and um, it should basically the icon looks like a little link and if it opens the link is going to be broken and it'll show you or it'll tell you that the door has been opened or the windows been opened and it's going to give that little icon. Um, <clears throat> now in other words um, other people call it as a faulted uh, uh, state so if you were to fault the sensor, you're going to get that status. Um, now, if you were to close the door or close the window, then you will get the closed status. And it's basically that little broken link. It gets uh, reconnected and it looks like a little connected link. So it tells you that the uh, window and the door has been uh, closed. Um, and in other words, uh, other people call it restoring a fault. So uh, just keep that in mind. Now. Uh, the other statuses like uh, active that basically uh, goes for like motion detectors, life safety, uh, life safety devices, uh, environmental sensors, and glass brick detectors. Um, now, when it comes to environmental sensors, that does include uh, flood detectors and um, temperature sensors. And when it comes to life safety devices, that includes uh, smoke and heat detectors and carbon monoxide detectors. So um, basically, if any of these sensors were to be uh, tripped, if a glass break detector were to uh, pick up any glass being, being broken and it trips the alarm, um, or a motion detector picking up any motion, um, smoke detectors, etc. right? If any of these devices were to be uh, tripped or triggered, then it's going to show the active status. Um, and, you know, obviously if it's showing the active status, it is going to set off the alarm on your panel, um, but that's when you will get that status. Now, if the um, devices or if these devices are not triggering the alarm or anything and they're just sitting there, you'll get an, the idle status, which is basically looks like a little person just standing. And um, it's, that just tells you that the sensors are sitting there and it's not doing anything at the current moment. Um, the active status icon looks like a person running. So uh, you'll see the little dash <laughs> when, when um, uh, if those uh, devices were to be uh, triggered. Now, uh, the other ones are um, unresponsive and tampered. Now, unresponsive, what that means is that um, the sensor cannot communicate with the system. Uh, basically, you'll be getting an RF supervision loss for that specific zone or sensor. Um, so it could include like maybe the battery dying and it's no longer communicating with the system. Maybe there's a signal issue. Maybe it's a little bit too far from the panel. If you are getting that unresponsive um, status, it is going to be a little question mark right next to the zone. Um, that's you definitely want to be able to try to troubleshoot the sensor and see what's going on. Um, now the last status is the tampered status, um, which basically it looks like a, a little piece or board being broken and it um, tells you that the sensor has been tampered. Um, either the front cover of the sensor has been taken off or the back cover, maybe a motion detector were opened. Um, if that sensor is being tampered with and it, and it trips the little tamper switch that's built into the sensor, then you will get that tampered status. You definitely want to check out the sensor, see what's going on if you are uh, seeing that status. Um, now, what we do, actually, I, I just wanted to uh, show you an example on the Qualsys panel. We have a uh, door contact, I'm sorry, we have a door contact uh, program to the system right now. You can, as you can see, <laughs> It is programmed to the system at the current moment. Um, 
And I just wanted to show you the different statuses uh, that does show up on the panel. So as of right now, if you look at the panel currently, um, it, right now there's nothing inactive because there's no sensors that are currently active. This door contact is closed at the current moment. So um, basically these are the different options where you can sort uh, through uh, the different sensors. So as I was mentioning earlier, you have the active status, which if any of the sensors were to be active, then uh, you'll see it right here. And then if you wanted to view all the sensors, you go to all. And at the current, as of right now, we only have one door contact programmed, um, but as you can see, it is closed. So you have the closed link uh, symbol. So if I were to fault the sensor, then you can see that the link has been broken and it's giving me the um, open status. Now, if I were to tamper the sensor, You'll see, uh, you'll get the little icon that looks like the little piece being broken, and this is telling me that the sensor has been tampered. So um, again, if you do have any uh, sensors that are showing this status, then you definitely want to try to troubleshoot that and see what's going on. And those are the symbols next to your zones in your Qualsys IQ Panel 2 Plus. If you have any questions about the Qualsys IQ Panel 2 Plus or alarm systems in general, please contact us at support at alarmgrid.com or go to our website, alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you want notifications on future videos, please click the bell icon. This is Jared with Alarm Grid. You have yourself a great day.